Hey, how's it going everyone? My name is Ryan and welcome back to Iowa Classic Cars. Seeing the popularity of my 1959 Impala Barn Find video, I figured I would make another video talking about a story in which I found my first ever 1959 Impala convertible. So without further ado, let's begin. So the story begins back in late 2017 when I was scrolling Craigslist looking for Impala parts. Um, at the time I was, I was still finishing my black Impala so I was looking for doors, whatever I could find essentially to put that car together. I came across a frame with some tubular control arms in a tumble, Iowa on Craigslist for I think 400 bucks. Which if you know what frames are going for on 59s and 60s, 400 bucks is a pretty decent deal, especially with aftermarket control arms. So I load up the truck and trailer, get some cash out of the bank, and then head down to a tumble, which is roughly about two and a half hours away from where I live in Iowa. So when I get there, I'm talking to the guy, just kind of BSing around. You know, we get the frame loaded, I pay him. It's a good frame. You know, no problem there. And I'm just asking him, do you know anyone with 59s or parts that they may have for sale? And he says, you know what? I do know of a guy who has a two-door sedan and a really rough convertible in his yard. So when he told me that, I'm thinking, you know what? 59 and Paul convertible, I've wanted one forever. Let's go talk to this guy. So he was kind enough to take me over to um, the, guy's, the guy's place. His name was Fred. And he basically, he did have this car. It was sitting out there in the weeds. It was the roughest car he had by a long shot. I mean, this thing was junk. Um, but the thing that it had going for it was the frame was still in one piece, all the, tr all the trim and stainless was there, and both the trim tag and the cowl tag, um, or I should say the trim tag and the VIN tag were still intact, which basically right there, you know, does show it is real convertible, and that is kind of the money shot on these cars. So we're talking, I'm asking what he wants for it, and he kind of avoids the question entirely, and I basically throw out a price, and he says, you know what, I don't really want to sell the car, but I will trade. So... He didn't tell me what he wanted to trade right away, so I called this guy probably about the next six months to a year, every weekend or so, just kind of picking his brain what he wanted to trade. It eventually said, I need a 1950 to 1953 Cadillac Tudor Hardtop DeVille. Now, these cars are pretty hard to find, but I just so happened had another friend in southern Iowa who had one as a parts car. It was a 53, I believe an early 53, um, had power seat, power windows, you know, all the stuff that Cadillac would have come with standard, um, and he wanted to get the thing off his property essentially. So I bought that car and I hauled it down to a Tumwa and we did the deal. So by the time the deal is actually done, it's like October, 2018. I mean, it's almost been a whole year later since I've discovered the car for the first time. So we get the car, um, his, his Cadillac off my trailer and we head to his yard where this car is and we start to dig it out. It takes a total of 14 hours. I got there at I think 7 a.m. and I left at nine or 10 o'clock at night. I mean, it took all day. The car had a big tree growing up through the left side um, control arms. So we had to cut that out. We had to kind of cut the frame a little bit to get the thing out of there. Um, we had to finagle some other cars out of the way um, in order to get the rollback in there. But eventually we did get the car out and onto my trailer. So when you're loading these cars and getting them bought and getting them out of there, you're just on such a high, on such an adrenaline rush that you really don't think about how bad the car actually is. So the next morning I wake up, I go out to kind of inspect the, the vehicle itself, and you know I'm thinking to myself, how in the hell am I going to bring this thing back from the dead? Um, it was rolled over in the 70s, and it was essentially pushed in a ditch, kind of as backfill. He bought it from the guy who actually put it in the ditch, and that's why the windshield frame was so mangled. So I took a floor jack and a 2x4 and, a and kind of got it um, back somewhat square. I mean, it obviously wasn't anywhere close to being square, but it was better than it was. Got the doors to shut. I mean, the car was a little, little more presentable at this time, but it was still extremely rough. And I knew I just had no way to really fix this car. I mean, you know, no amount of money, no amount of hours I could have ever put into this car to actually make it right. You know, I don't have $100,000 to put into a build like this. So I kind of decided after three or four months that, you know, I've got to pass this thing on to someone who can fix it up and will fix it up. I put it on the internet and of course everyone is a joker when you put something for sale on the internet and everyone said this car's too far gone. This is a piece of junk. You know, I can't believe you're selling it, yada, yada, yada. However, after about a month of it being for sale, a guy in Nebraska contacted me. He came out and looked at the car and said, you know what, man, I know this thing is rough, but I know what it is. It's a 59. I've wanted a 59 forever. I can do all the work myself, and I'm retired, so I have all the time in the world. So we essentially, we struck a deal. He came and picked up the car in January 2019, and I kind of thought that, you know what, I hear this story all the time is they're going to fix it up, but I'll never see this car again. I'll never see it on the road again. Well, I called the guy who actually bought the car about a year later, just asking him for some information on it, if he actually got the car going or whatnot. And as you'll see here, these these newer photos, you know, with the new floors, the new frame, um, he has done a hell of a lot of work to the car. He's basically not rebodied it, but he, there's a ton of new metal in this car. 
um, but it is pretty much in the final stages of metalwork and then it'll be painted and then just kind of finishing it up and back on the road. I'm actually really impressed with the guy's work. I mean, this car was extremely rough, but he has put, you know, all the time in the world into this thing. He's not really cut any corners at all. And you can definitely tell in the quality of the work that he's done so far to this vehicle. So you can definitely expect to see a video of this car once it is fully done. Um, I'm really expecting it to see it done and completed and back on the road probably within the next 12 months. I have talked to the owner and he said as soon as the car is done, feel free to come on out. We can make a video of this thing and we can also drive it. So this car will be back on the road. It's raw right now. It's in the process of being finished up, um, but do expect a video of this car in the near future. Also in the near future, expect videos actually of me out in the field pulling these cars out of ditches and barns. Um, right now my truck is down. I hit a deer, so I'm still waiting on a bumper and really in the middle of winter, I'm not going to be digging cars out of the snowbanks. So this spring and summer, expect a lot more live action videos. But I have seen a ton of stuff in my travels the last six, seven years. I bought a ton of cool cars and I thought, you know what, this is the perfect way to kind of fill this void of winter and talk about these old cars and these stories and kind of reminisce on the good days that we had way back when. So that about wraps up the video for today. If you did enjoy this story and seeing this car come back to life, please make sure to give it a like rating before you leave, as well as leave a comment with what you think of this whole build in its entirety. Also, if you are new to the channel, please make sure to subscribe as you will be seeing car videos like this on a weekly basis. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Ryan with Iowa Classic Cars, and I'll catch you next video. Thanks for watching.